you doing? Hi, it's Joanna Weaver. So glad you've joined us today. It is time for One Thing Monday, number 10. I'm super excited about that. It actually has to do with today's uh, topic on persevering. I have persevered to show up every Monday at 10 a.m. for 10 times, 10 weeks. That's kind of that's kind of amazing. <laughs> How are you guys doing out there? Hope you're having a wonderful day. I just uh, dropped something important, but hey, I'll grab that. Listen, I'd love to hear if you're listening. Just go ahead and put your name in the comments and maybe what's happening in your life today. Um, I just got back from a wonderful women's conference, the Inland Northwest Women's Conference. And if any of you are listening, I hope you'll also I'll leave a comment. If you're watching the replay, I hope you know that you can like absolutely treat this like a live. So feel free to respond, even though you're maybe not watching it while it's live. Uh, let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you're learning, what God's showing you. I was over in Post Falls, Idaho this last weekend for um, a wonderful woman's conference. And it was really kind of cool. You might have seen my Facebook live where I just talk about um I was back at this place where my writing journey really kind of began. Um, it's Templin's Result Resort, Result <laughs> Templin's Resort, and uh, just this beautiful hotel on the river. And I tell the story about how God called me or confirmed His call to write in my life. And so that video right now, I think is pinned to the top of Joanna Weaver books on Facebook. And you can watch that because it's kind of a cool story. Hey, just wanted to shout out a little bit to this Wednesday. I'm really honored to have my beautiful friend, Debbie Liddell. Lindell, you've seen her on One Thing Mondays. Uh, she's the author of She Believes and She Prays, and she's going to be on The Living Room with Joanna Weaver this Wednesday morning. So I hope you'll check that out. And um, if you're new to One Thing Mondays, you can actually check out the archive of videos by clicking on the video tab over at Joanna Weaver Books on Facebook and IGTV. It's all on Instagram as well. So that's kind of fun. Well, just a moment here on my nose itches. Well, today, you guys, I want to talk about practicing perseverance. <laughs> so initially I made the title of this one thing Monday, persevere. But like, uh, if you're like me, sometimes like that just feels overwhelming, but I can practice persevering. So that's one of my things that I've learned to do is just kind of bring things down to a little bit of a more of a baby step towards a lifestyle and a habit. Um, sometimes I have such expectations of myself that I set myself up to fail. And then when I, the first time I don't persevere, then I'm just like, well, I just guess I can't persevere, but we're going to discover that perseverance at its very root is actually patience. Did you know that? Perseverance is actually patience. In fact, when you do a word study on the word persevere or persevered or perseverance, um, that's it shows up in the NIV. And I'd encourage you to do a topical study because it's really good. So those words are used in the NIV. But in a lot of the other translations, especially the King James and New King James, it is patience. Now, I think this is important because sometimes when I think of patience, I think of it as a characteristic. Like it's it's like you either have patience or you don't have patience. But in the very way we practice perseverance and we build build our ability to persevere. So do we have to build our ability to be patient? So it's really more of a verb than a noun. So I kind of wanted to just bring that to you. You know, the Bible talks about patience and perseverance so much, but what do we mean when we say persevere? Well, persevere from the dictionary means to persist, to persist in anything undertaken. Yeah anything. So like one thing Mondays, I'm persevering in doing one thing Mondays. And this is number 10. And I'm so excited. Uh, in case you're new to one thing Mondays, this is what we're doing. We're focusing on one thing 
for one week with the help of our powerful God for a mighty breakthrough. So that's the idea behind One Thing Mondays. And this week, we're going to practice to persevere, to persist. What are you in the middle of that you feel like giving up on? You need to persevere, to persist in anything undertaken, to maintain a purpose in spite of difficulty, obstacles, or discouragement, to continue steadfastly. Now, I may or may not be talking about perseverance because I really need this message myself. Still in the middle of this book, still feeling like, oh Lord, is it ever going to be done? I have this wonderful purpose. I have this high call on my life. But in the middle of the call and the fulfillment of the call is a lot of hard work. And if you're like that, me, like me, I can get frustrated with that. I want it to be easy. I want to say, yes, Lord, I'll do your will. And then it's just this wonderful, smooth, uninterrupted stream of productiveness. But to persevere means that we maintain a purpose in spite of difficulty, obstacles, or discouragement. It means to continue steadfastly. And oh, you guys, the Bible talks a lot about our need to persevere. In fact, it's in one of those verses that sometimes we, we quote the first part, but we don't necessarily look at the rest. James 1, 2 through 4 says, Consider it pure joy, my brothers, whenever you face trials of many kinds. And sometimes we stop there. We're like, consider it joy. How in the world can I do that? But we miss the big picture. James goes on to write, because you know that the testing of your faith, those difficulties, those obstacles, that discouragement you feel in the midst of trying to persevere, look what it does. It develops perseverance. It develops an inner core of strength and steadfastness that we need, you guys. We need perseverance. But look what perseverance does as we allow the trials, as we continue despite difficulties. Perseverance must finish its work, James tells us, so that you may be mature and complete. Listen to this part. Not lacking in anything. Oh my word. I so want that, you guys. That's what I've been praying all of my life. Uh, if, for those of you who've read my book, In Having a Merry Spirit, where I talk about allowing God to change us from the inside out, I talk about my dream. I really honestly prayed that I would be perfect by the time I was 30. Well, that didn't happen. However, that did put a higher purpose in my heart to be more like Jesus than I was yesterday. Because I don't want to wake up 20 years from now the same woman that I am. I want to be mature and I want to be complete. I want to be lacking in nothing. But listen, that only comes as we persevere. So as we unpack this, what does it look like to persevere? Well, first of all, I just want you to know, you need to don't stop trying. In order to persevere, don't stop trying. And this is where I stop so often. It gets a little tough. It feels like it's impossible or it feels like I'm never going to accomplish my goal. So I throw up my hands and I stop trying. I love what Thomas Edison said. You know, when you look at the stories of all these great men and women in history, as well as in the Bible, they refuse to stop trying. Thomas Edison said this about the light bulb. I have not failed 10,000 times. I have not failed once. I have succeeded in proving that there are 10,000 ways that don't work <laughs> to create a light bulb. He didn't look at it as failure he looked at it as a step towards success. And what if, even though yesterday wasn't a great day, even though I didn't accomplish everything I wanted to accomplish, what if I received today as a new start, a new chance to begin again? Perseverance must finish its work so that you won't be lacking in anything. So don't stop trying. What are you in the middle of today? Maybe you're in the middle of a difficult marriage. 
Maybe um, your relationship with your kids is not where it needs to be. And you just feel like throwing up your hands and throwing in the towel and just giving up. But I just sense so strongly today, I am to tell you, my friend, don't stop trying. Don't stop loving. Don't stop uh, returning good instead of evil for evil. Don't, because good overcomes evil. Don't stop loving. Don't stop. Don't stop trying. And then number two, for those of us who maybe are trying to quit a habit or we're trying to change a behavior or a reaction, maybe maybe you're still working on that part where we said be slow to speak, be slow to anger, be quick to listen. Maybe you're still working on being slow to anger. Well, don't quit quitting. Don't quit quitting. Maybe God said, hey, I want I want that area of your life, that un, out of control spending, that out of control eating, that out of control Facebooking and social media. And he's saying, you're being mastered by this and I want you to begin to stop. Well, don't stop stopping. Don't quit quitting. My dear friend, Cheryl, had an addiction to alcohol and uh, she she really struggled and the Lord gave her victory as she just kept bringing it to him. But there was one area that she really struggled with and it was smoking. And she knew the Lord was asking that of her, that she needed, she needed to get healthy. And she tried and tried and tried to quit, but she would always fail. And a friend said those words, don't quit quitting. And I just felt like I was supposed to share that with you today. For those of us who are struggling to stop a behavior that we know is less than God's best for us, don't quit quitting. You might have failed yesterday. You might have given in to the temptation. But today's a new day. Persevere, my friend. Press in, press through. God's going to meet you with all his power. It's interesting that that word persevere comes from the Latin perseverus. And if you break it up, it's this. Per means through, and severus means severe. <laughs> Persevere. Maybe that's why I don't like that word very much, because I want things to be easy. But if we're going to persevere, we're going to have to go through some difficulty. We're going to have to go through some testing. We're going to have to go through some trials, because that's the only way we persevere. But listen, when that happens, perseverance finish it, its work in us. It does something powerful. It makes us mature and complete, not lacking in anything. It's a process, you guys, that is divine, but we have to persevere. And then finally, I want to encourage you, don't stop. D don't stop trying. Don't, don't quit quitting and don't stop trusting. Don't stop trusting that the very thing God is asking you to do, that trial that he's allowed in your life, that testing, that, oh, that, that thing that you just want to give up on, God is right there to help you. He's right there. He wants to meet your try with his power. He wants to help you try umph over your difficulty, but you got to persevere. Hebrews 10 and I, and I just want to say, so many times I think God asks something of me and I believe the lie that it's all up to me. But no, 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 no. Remember what the Bible says. For it is God who works in you to will and to act according to his good purpose. He's working it in. We just need to work it out. And it happens through perseverance. So why is perseverance so important? Here's another verse that I think is so powerful. Hebrews 10.36 says, You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. Now, that has to do with heaven one day. Listen, as Christians, we're going to face difficulty. And we need to persevere in the midst of it. I'm meeting a lot of people, a lot of Christians who are so discouraged. And they're like, Joanna, I just, it just feels like one trial after another. And I understand I'm kind of in the middle of some stuff myself. But just because we're being tried doesn't mean that we're doing something wrong. 
No, in fact, it could very well mean that you're doing something right. And as you just re say, okay, God, I choose to persevere. I choose to obey you no matter what. Your obedience is going to be met with his power and he's going to help you. And as you access that power to do his will, you're going to receive what he's promised, not just heaven one day, but you guys, the result of perseverance, which is maturity and completion, not lacking anything. Oh, I want that to sink in your soul. That is a promise, not just for heaven one day, not just when we meet him face to face, but there is an ongoing progression of maturity that God wants to work in your life, but it only happens as you and I persevere. So what are you facing today? What do you need God's help with today? Where do you need to <laughs> put on your big girl pants and just do what you need to do? Sometimes I just, I just too hard. And I am just asking the Lord, would you work within me that muscle of perseverance and endurance? Would you help me to be patient in the difficulty rather than impatient, rather than constantly expecting and desiring to arrive? Would you help me prepare for the marathon? It's not a sprint, you guys. This life we're called to is a marathon, and we need to set out understanding that it's the long haul, not the short instant fix. It's the long haul. It's the persevering way. And as we do, the Holy Spirit comes alongside of us and he gives us the strength to endure, the strength to persevere. And he gives us the patience to press on no matter what happens to be pressing in on us today. So persevere, my friend, as you do, God's going to meet you with all the power that you need. Uh, so that's our One Thing Monday this day, Pers um, practice perseverance. And what that's going to look like for me is after I get off of this call, I'm going to practice some perseverance. There's some things on my to-do list that I just need to knock out. I need to do it. I don't need to wait until I feel like it. I just need to do it. So what do you need to do today? That's what I want to hear from you in the comments. Um, and thank you so much for joining me on this One Thing Monday. I can't wait to hear how God works in your life. And as you're watching this replay, please, please, please leave a comment. If you'd like to catch up on the other One Thing Mondays, go to the video ta um, tab on my Joanna Weaver books at Facebook and watch IGTV on Instagram at Joanna Weaver books. I'd love to hear how God's working in your life as you just focus on one thing and persevere. <laughs> God bless you. All right, I'm going to go over to our comments and see what who's here. Hey, Mr. Jeff, so glad you're with us. Sian, uh, Bobby, glad you're here. Jackie, how fun. I know, Jeff, you're walking through some physical issues and you are having to persevere, aren't you? Uh, yeah, well, I just have been praying for you guys. Um, thank you, Jessica, for tuning in. Uh, I just know that God's going to meet you. One of the things I'd love to hear from you is how God has strengthened you and helped you to persevere during a difficult time. Um, I actually have to leave this call and go to another appointment, um, working on some other Facebook, excuse me, some living room podcast interviews today. I'm really excited. I'm going to be interviewing Carol Kent about staying power in marriage and also Christine Hoover. She is going to be um, talking about how to live joyfully in allegiance, complete allegiance to King Jesus. And then again, I want to remind you guys, talk about persevering. Uh, be sure to tune in to the Living Room Podcast this Wednesday morning for Debbie Lundell. So yeah, so that is our call this morning to practice perseverance. And I'd love to hear throughout the week, just come back to this video. Let me know how you're working to persevere along with the Lord's help. All right. Well, thanks again, you guys, for being with me. God bless you guys. Hey, so Sian says she's learning some major patience this week. 
yeah. Avoid, isn't it hard when a situation is out of our control? Sometimes perseverance is just choosing to trust God, isn't it? It's choosing not to give in to fear. I love that. That is so good. That is so good. Anybody else? Well, I'm going to go ahead and um, pop off, but I will be in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys today. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day.